Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. So today we're going to do a guide on Titans. We're going to talk about which ones are the best for free to play or cheap to play players, which ones are the best for those guys who can get all the platinum they want. We're going to talk about the strengths and weaknesses and which what each one is good at. Okay, so first off, we're going to go ahead and look at the kid. Most of you guys know I got really bad muscle and nerve problems and I can't spend too long in my chair every day or everything goes into spasms and the nerve pain flares up and it gets bad. So I'm not going to play every, I'm not going to make a bad uh, video with every single Titan, but on my Battle Wreck account, I have every Titan in the game. They're 100% maxed out and I know these Titans very well. So first off, we're going to talk about Kid and why I don't recommend anybody really put resources into the kid i don't like the kid he's got three or four flaws that make him a bad robot and he's got a couple things that are actually pretty good so first the good his ability is very strong he has this ring of fire and if you max the kid out that ring of fire burns people up like crazy also when you max him out he has huge hit points so he's a little bit hard to kill so those are the two things he has going for him but there's quite a few things that are bad about this guy. For one, he's got two weapons down here. These two weapons are available at all times. And he's also got a weapon on his back that only comes out once you use his ability. Well, unfortunately, all three weapons are not available at all times, making Kid not the best choice to have. The other problem is these two weapons that are available are down lower and they cannot shoot over top of buildings like the other Titans. All the other Titans, the weapons are up high and you can shoot over top of a lot of buildings and obstacles. All right, not great. The other thing is this guy has damage resistance or damage reduction, whatever you'd like to call it, but it's not always available either. All right, it's not always available. Um, when he goes into his ability, he gets 50%. 50% damage resistance or damage reduction, meaning it he takes 50% less damage. But when his, he's not in the ability, he takes the full amount of damage and, well, I don't know. In my opinion, this is not a great Titan. I would not put any resources into this guy. All right? Next, we have the Arthur. If you're free to play or cheap to play and you have a hard time getting a bunch of platinum, Arthur is the best bet for your average person, all right? Ditch the kid and save up for an Arthur, and this is why. So as soon as you get Arthur, if you're still in the lower leagues, you unlock your Titans for the first time, you're still in probably in like a lower to mid league, Arthur is going to excel in those lower and mid leagues, even at low level. All the other Titans in this game need to have a lot of platinum put into them before they really start to do well to where Arthur does pretty well right at the start. He's got three weapons that are up top. They can shoot over top of buildings. He's got this really beefy shield that's hard to take out. As long as nobody gets behind you or beside you, Arthur is really hard to kill for the enemies because that shield's taking all the damage. And even after the shield dies, he's got a pretty nice amount of hit points. And you can easily get behind a building or something to use that for cover to where enemies can't hit you, but you can shoot over top of it and hit other players. So at, this is your best bet for your average player. All right. You're free to play and cheap to play players. This is your best bet. Only drawback with Arthur. He's very slow. He's very slow. Okay. But I love my Arthur. I still think he's pretty much the best Titan in the game for your average person. Man, I play mine all the time, and I'm very happy with it. All right, so let's move on to the next Titan. Next, we have the uh, Ming. I'm not a huge fan of the Ming. He's very squishy. Arthur is just eat him up. Now, Ming can be amazingly good if you have the right weapons on him. In my opinion, you have to have different weapons. Ming gets very expensive. You got to upgrade him a lot. It takes a lot of platinum to make the Ming... So he's not squishy and you have to have meat weapons with 600 meter range. So you're going to have to buy new weapons and max this dude out before he really starts to shine. In my opinion. Now, in order to play this guy properly, 
you got to have those 600 meter weapons so you can stay back and stay out of range of the majority of the robots. All right, this guy flies, he gets up in the air, and you also need an accelerator module to make him move faster. So if you can get a couple armor kits, an accelerator module, and some weapons with 600 meters and max it all out, this guy can be really cool if you play him correctly. If you don't play this guy correctly, he's just going to get shredded. Other Titans are just going to eat him like he's nothing. All right, so played correctly with the right weapons and maxed out, he's a beast. He's a beast, but it takes a lot of platinum to make this guy good and get him with the right setup. So I don't really recommend this dude to anybody that has a hard time getting a whole bunch of platinum. Next, we have our Nodens. Nodens is a really cool robot. All right, he heals people and he he suppresses the enemy. This guy is more like a more like a support robot. Okay, this really isn't designed to go out and brawl and destroy destroy everybody. Now, one thing cool about Nodens is he does good with pretty much any weapons in the game. You can just go ahead and level up the weapons that he comes with. If you don't have a lot of platinum, if you're free to play or cheap to play, you do want to. It does take a lot of platinum to make this guy good. Okay. You do need to dump a lot of platinum into him, but if you put enough platinum into this guy, he's awesome. Great healing, great at healing. I mean, if you use him right and really know how to play him, you can do very, very well with this guy, but he's kind of an expensive Titan, guys. That's really the downfall with this, but if you're, if you're someone who can get platinum, no problem. This dude is such a major help for your team, it's not even funny. The healing and the suppression alone, Plus, he's got four of those weapons. I mean, I wouldn't take him in for direct brawling, but I would hide behind hide behind an obstacle where people can't hit you, heal people, suppress people, and pop out for some cheap shots when you get a chance and get back to cover, you know, when you need to. That's how you want to play this guy. He's not really a get-in-your-face brawler, but dude's awesome overall. All right, let's move on to the next guy. And finally, we've got the Minos. Now, this is a really cool robot. He's definitely the most fun out of all the Titans. Only problem is he's very squishy and easy to kill. You got to be very strategic with this guy to keep him alive. And you really do need to dump a lot of platinum into him. All right. If you can get this robot with the retaliators are pretty cool. But if you can get the shotguns onto this guy, he's amazing. You do need to put a lot of resources into him, though. So this guy charges into the crowd. He's got these blast waves that damage people. Plus, he's got a shield that will reflect some of the damage back. Now, of course, the shield only lasts so long. That's one of his abilities. And the blast wave is one of his abilities. Very cool Titan. Very scary. Very hard to deal with with somebody know that knows how to play him. If you don't play him right, though... Even if he's 100% maxed out, he will he will die very fast. He will die very fast in the higher leagues, okay? Now, in the lower leagues, any one of these Titans is probably going to do really well. But once you move up to the higher leagues, you're going to start struggling, all right? You're going to start struggling to do well with these things if they're not leveled up. All right, Arthur is by far the easiest for your average person because... You can just slowly, casually level him up as you get the Platinum, and I mean, he just does really well from the start, where these other Titans, not so much. All right, that's the only problem with these other Titans, is they got to be leveled up a lot. So in today's video, we're going to go do some gameplay, probably, probably play one or two games, and I'm going to put my Minos in. Most of you guys always see me play my Arthur all the time. Love that guy. But we're going to take my Minos in. We're going to do two shotguns and one retaliator today. I've got two antimatter reactors to add more damage and two plated armor kits to make him survive longer. All right, so he's got more damage and more armor. So let's go do a few games, guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bring in our Minos with the shotguns, and we're going to blast some dudes up. So we're going to go ahead and use the blast wave. We're going to hit the shield. I'm stuck on this Arthur. Arthur, get the heck out of the way, man. You you need to go on a diet, dude. You're blocking up all the aisles. Move your butt, man. Get out of here. Come on, Arthur, man. What do you think this is? 
Let's hit him with the blast slave. Let's beat him on up. You ever hear that, Jenny Craig, my man? Jenny Craig, Jenny Craig, you need that. Now let's hit this shield. Now let's bust these dudes up, man. They got this demeanor. We're gonna tear him up real quick. He's a slipper little guy, isn't he? All right. Let's go ahead and hit him with the blast waves. And I got a little bit of lag going on today, guys. I don't know if you could tell, but it was lagging like crazy. Right, let's try and blast these guys up later. If you notice, I'm pretty low on health. I'm going to go ahead and use that shield. I've been charging it. All these freaking titans are everywhere, and they're just getting in my way and mashing me up. I'm like landing on their heads and jumping in the air and all kinds of weird stuff that's not supposed to happen. All right, so I got bit, beat up pretty bad. Now, one of the things I do notice about the Minos is normally he loses health very quickly. He does a lot of damage. He rushes in. He gets a bunch of kills. He tears some people up, but he never seems to stay alive too terribly long. Some people may be a little better that at him than I am. I don't really play mine all that much, so I'm not an excellent Minos pilot like some people might be. Alright, let's try and get the shell. Right now I'm reflecting any damage back to him that he does to me. Somehow they locked me down. I'm gonna go ahead and move back behind this thing. Alright, he's coming down this way. We're gonna go ahead and uh, charge this guy. This may or may not be a good idea, but Let's do it. Right now we got our shield. No! I went to hit my shield, but I was too late. So anyways, he's a lot of fun. Very hard to keep alive, but he does a lot of damage before he dies most of the time. Alright, so on this one, we'll just go ahead and play a full battle. Let's see. Let's give him the glider. We'll put suppression on here. I don't think they work. I don't think the effect ships work very well on... You know this particular set of weapons certain weapons these things are amazing but let's go ahead and play out a full one we'll get our titan out sometime during this battle but minos is definitely the most fun but one of the hardest to keep alive i think at the same time look at that rhino you don't see those too often do you let's bust him up a little bit let's go ahead and let these things cool down can't get them there's a bunch of dudes. We're going to run away. Get ready, dudes. Here we go. Target someone, stupid. Oh, I hate this targeting system. I push the button to scroll through people, and it will not... It just will not target the guy you're pointing directly at. It never does. It's got to pick everybody else but the guy you're trying to shoot. Drives me freaking crazy. Drives me nuts, man. That's gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Yeah, there's a good shot. Check that out. Nobody shot me to charge up my ability, but we got him anyways. All right, back to back to cover. Our team's kicking some butt on this one. I might not even be able to bring out my Titan. Heck, we'll probably win before I can even get Minos out of here. <laughs> That's the way it's looking so far. Uh-oh, he's got me with the EMP, guys. Oh. All right, let's go after this dude. Come on, come on, come on. He disappeared, man. He's like, I'm out. I'm a teleporting fool. Get this little scorpion. See you later. Let's get that guy. I need to let these weapons recharge. But I want that kill. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and use our ability. See if we can get this dude. There we are. Pop, pop, pop. Hades is a beast. A lot of people think these weapons aren't any good, but let me tell you something. These weapons are freaking awesome. Still. As long as you're not fighting Shell, these things are great. Alright, we're going to have to play another one, guys. That was too fast. We just destroyed those dudes in like two minutes, so... Hey, we're going to do one more. We're going to do one more, alright? That was real fast. Okay, so on this big long map, we're going to go ahead and bring out the uh, Typhon first with the lockdown. This is my lockdown monster right here. This is such a big help to the team. Oh gosh, they're all... 
This is gonna be a bad battle. We got three guys grabbing one beacon. And only... Everybody needs to go towards center right now. You should have one guy grab that beacon, one guy grab this beacon, and everybody else should be going to center. Now I'm being rushed by the shell. This is not good. Plus they got a sniper back there. He just took out my shield. Oh, uh, they're rushing me. Yep, I can already tell that this is not going to go well. Me by myself, I cannot defend this beacon. Like, I cannot defend this beacon no matter how hard I try by myself. I mean, they're already trying to kill me, so... I gotta back off and let them take it, unfortunately. That's all I can say. Thank you for the Demeter. Alright, I really appreciate that. Let's see if we can... You can't EMP these stupid shells, man. If you aim just right when they open their shield, you can get your weapons inside their shield and kick their butts. But uh, it's not easy to do. I'm about to die, all right. Um, I'm going to drop here in center with my... Let's go ahead and bring in our Hades. Later, dude. Oh crap, we're gonna phase shift it. I do not want to hit get hit by that area, I'll tell you that much. Then we got that sniper of crap sandwiches. They're beating the heck out of me. I'm gonna use my ability just to try and survive for a second. I'm really Thank you, sir. Let's try and take out the shell. We gotta bust his little shield. I thought that was gonna be a scorpion coming up behind me, but it wasn't the friendly neighborhood Demeter. Bam! 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 There we go. Someone else is shooting me from I don't even know where. Alright, we got that. I'm gonna phase shift it. I don't wanna die just yet. Use my ability. Let's bust this guy up. Let's bust that guy up. Too far away. Where's someone I can hit? Yeah, let's try and bust this dude up. Don't let him hit me with that EMP, though. Alright, come on, one. Crap! They got me. They got me. I'm dead. I d d d d died. Alright, my team is camping in the back corner instead of trying to get the beacons, it looks like. And that's not how you win beacon matches, guys. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take my Demeter over here. Grab this center beacon, I hope. If everything goes well, I should be able to get this no problem. Except for that freaking guy right there. He's putting a stop to it. So, we're going to have to uh, roller skate on around. I did not want to teleport. Let's bust this guy up real fast. He's almost dead. He's too far away. Alright, I'm going to use my healing module. And we're going to smash this dude up real quick. Good job, teammates. That freaking guy's on the other side there. Ooh, we got it. We got it. I'm going to stay right here for a minute. Probably can't shoot him through there, but we can try, right? Uh, there's a teammate who probably needs healed, so I'm going to teleport over here to heal this guy up. Smash this. Oh, crap. It's a Minos. Right, I'm not in a good spot. I'm going to hit my healing module. When I come out of this, I'll be healing on up. Let's see if we can smash up this Titan before I die, right? Someone else is shooting me. Alright, he went into that mode. They got one dude. Oh, that was a dumb move on my part. So let's go ahead and bring out our Titan. Alright. Where are they all at? They're all dead. Alright, let's go ahead and run over here. We're going to run this way. There's a kid, guys. There's a kid. Let's go ahead and run. We're going to put up our shield, and then we're just going to blast him with these retaliators. The retaliator. Look, I can't get to him. Here we go. Here we go. Prepare to die, sir. There we are. There we are. Oh, now he's got his weapon and stuff, but uh, I think we're going to get him, guys. We're going to get him. That's a really hard-hitting kid. He must be maxed out because he's doing a lot of freaking damage here. So we're going to take him out. Yeah, good job team. I need to get to cover really quick, which I don't think is going to happen, unfortunately. 
my legs are messed up I'm running real slow oh they blew me up so bottom line is I usually get in I do a lot of damage quickly and then I blow up on that robot so that's pretty much how it always goes for me we got feral fart over there all right buddy good job mr. fart yeah we got mr. fart on my team I don't know about you but uh, I don't know how I feel about that <laughs> It's feral. I mean, that makes it even worse. I mean, that makes it way worse if you really think about it. All right, we're within range. Oh. Bye bye, Mr. Sir. Goodbye, duty dude. Goodbye, duty. Duty, duty, duty. We got him, we got him. There's the feral fart, the fart, the fart. It's the feral fart, it's the fart, the fart. It's the feral fart. The feral fart is here. Yeah. All right, guys. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. That's my little, that's my crappy little Titan guide. Hopefully it helps. And we did 2.2 million damage, two kills, came in third place. Mr. Fart came in in second, and uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Catch you all later. Please remember to like and subscribe, and hit that little bell button if you want to get really crazy and set those notifications to all. That way, you all don't miss anything good that I upload, all right? See you guys later. Thanks for watching.